So, you know, as traditional, you know, there is one more thing. You know, we borrowed a page from Steve Jobs and Apple on this years ago. But actually, there's one more thing that's actually, you know, more than one more thing. It's one more very strategic thing, okay? And it's a strategic thing that's all about partnership with Cisco. A partnership, and I'd say a friendship. It started a little over a year ago, and it started around a conversation around desktop virtualization. With Cisco bringing their view of the world, the lens of VXI, and Citrix bringing our lens around Zen desktop and desktop virtualization, and a common vision around creating a high definition experience for people, okay, on Citrix and Cisco infrastructure. And we put together actually a, a partnership that was based upon a multi-year strategic technology and go to market, market agreement and a set of investments. That was a little over a year ago. So here we are about one year later and the results have been amazing. We have tens of thousands of virtual desktops deployed worldwide together. Zen Desktop, Cisco UCS, and Cisco Networks, all right? And it, it's independent of geography, type of customer, enterprise, service provider, and vertical segment. And what we've experienced over the last year is a really outstanding alignment of the teams in terms of going to market and people working together. That's important, right? Teamwork. So today, we're going to move this partnership forward in a big way, all right, on three dimensions. Mobile work styles is the first dimension. Cloud orchestration is the second dimension. And cloud networking is the third. Now, this is really exciting. And uh, what's equally exciting is we have a really special guest here to tell us a lot more about it and to fill in a lot of color around it. And that special guest is the Chief Technology and Strategy Officer for Cisco, Padma Warrior. Now, Padma is an amazing visionary. And, you know, I really appreciate range. And she can talk about the most visionary, outlooking sort of things. And she can take you right down to the bare metal of the network and through every layer. It's incredible, all right? And in working and talking with Padma, you know, not only do you see a great visionary, and technologist, you know, you see a great a person who can be and it's becoming a great friend, okay? So Padma, please join on stage and tell us about our partnership. Thank you so much, Mark, for that uh, very kind introduction. It's a great pleasure to be here to share with all of you the exciting things that we will be working on together as uh, two great companies in this space. Um, I learned a lot of new words today, spagility. I think it's something I expected to see on a lunch menu. <laughs> but I now know that this is uh, all of our challenge in enterprise IT. And we really subscribe to that theory. I think one of the reasons we're excited about this partnership, and I just want to explain to all of you why this partnership, why right now? And that is because we also believe that the future of IT is changing, and it's going to change much more rapidly than it has changed in the last six decades or so. If you kind of look at the IT industry, every 10 to 20 years, we've seen a major transformation going from mainframe computing to mini computers and then client server model, and the last decade where we all participated in web-based architectures. That paradigm is changing again to become much more a mobile cloud era in the future. And there's some data points based on our research at Cisco that support this transition. For example, the amount of traffic from smartphones alone is expected to go up about 50 times by 2015 compared to where it is today. And that doesn't, by the way, include all the tablets and all those devices that Brad um, carries on in his wardrobe. Um, and I just heard as I was coming up here that Cisco and Citrix partnership had something to do with creating that tie where Citrix participated with Cisco at our Cisco house. Uh, we were working at the London Olympics and apparently we worked together to create that pocket on the tie. 
And, and that's interesting to note as well, speaks to our friendship together. Uh, but the important point is that mobility is going to explode and the demand for mobility is going to explode. And if you look at the second data point, we will expect to see by 2016, 10 billion mobile devices, mobile connected devices, not including things like sensors, which will be connected also on fixed networks. So there's a huge explosion of devices and along with that, the need for applications to be much more mobile. And IDC data suggests that by 2020, almost half of IT will be delivered from the cloud. So what all of this suggests is that it's not just accessing information that's going to be critical in the future, but it's actually the delivery of applications within the context of mobility and cloud, which means applications have to be delivered instantaneously in a collaborative and secure way across multiple devices. And that's really the route for the partnership and the engagement that we are creating between the two companies. So as Mark mentioned, there are three areas that we'll be addressing. First is mobile work styles. The second though, which the two other pillars, which is cloud orchestration and cloud networking, are, if you will, the, the foundation of delivering this mobile work style. So what I'll do next is spend a little bit of time talking about each of these areas and specifically what our two companies will be doing together in each of these areas. So let me start about with the mobile work styles first. What we will be doing together in this space is developing joint solutions for the mobile work style that Mark described and delivering a great BYOD or bring your own device experience within the enterprise and for people that are going to be working anywhere and any time. Specifically, we're gonna deliver a secure unified access for applications, data, voice, and video. Because in the future, we believe at Cisco, video will be a killer app as the internet moves into the next phase. And that will be accomplished across any device and anywhere. So specifically, what we are going to do is to bring together the strength of our portfolios. So from Cisco, for example, we will be integrating the Jabber client along with Cisco, uh, Citrix's Zen app and Zen desktop capability. And we'll be integrating MediaNet with Zen app and Zen desktop. And the purpose of that is to enable the experience to be optimized from the user all the way to the network. We'll be leveraging the share file capability that Citrix has for follow me data experience and of course building this on top of the VXI platform, the partnership we started almost a year ago. So the result of this, as customers, we will see richer experience, seamless security and unified support. And that's the expectation that, that you can have based on the solutions that we will be creating together. So the second area of this partnership is in cloud networking and cloud orchestration, or second and third, I should say, and I'm gonna start with cloud orchestration first and, and go into that. This is Cisco's vision of the data center. One of the things that we recognize is that the world doesn't change overnight. Most of our customers want the data center to be able to provide unification between physical and virtual resources, between the different infrastructure elements such as compute, storage, um, security, management, and networking, all of this together. So our vision with the unified data center is to bring together the different infrastructure elements and deliver the capability across both physical and virtual resources. So in this area, specifically with cloud orchestration, what we will be doing is to integrate solutions for our customers that brings together our capabilities with unified compute, the Nexus switching, which is the world's largest networking footprint in the data center. And by the way, nine out of the 10 massively scalable data centers in the United States use Nexus switching. And this is probably one of the most well-kept uh, secrets, Mark. I think you talked about 50,000, 30,000 servers. We have customers that deploy larger servers than that that use Nexus switching. So we'll be bringing that capability to integrate tighter with Citrix's capabilities around their cloud platform and the cloud stack capabilities that they have. So as a result of that, what we expect to deliver is to bring together Cisco's UCS to be tightly integrated with our Cisco One components added on top of that, 
One, by the way, stands for Open Networking Environment. One of the things that Cisco is doing is creating APIs on top of all of our switching and networking infrastructure to allow better integration to the top layers in the stack. We'll be bringing that capability and the Nexus 1000V, which is our virtual switch, will be more tightly integrated with Citrix Zen server. So we'll have the Zen hypervisor capability on UCS, and we'll be bringing together this stack, which will have the open source, Apache open source capability for orchestration on Cisco's leadership infrastructure in the data center. And that allows our customers to have greater speed and agility with a much simpler automation. And, and the reason that we believe this is important is ultimately all of us are looking for lower total cost of ownership. So the main vision behind this orchestration uh, joint work that we are doing is actually to simplify management. If you kind of look at what's happening in the data center, and more importantly, as clouds get deployed, many vendors are actually adding additional layers of management software. Uh, because now it's more complex, actually, to manage both physical and virtual layers, right? Because in a way, the world was much easier when it was all physical infrastructure. In, in a sense, that actually doesn't remove complexity. It just moves complexity. Our vision is to remove that complexity by bringing together the layers of cloud stack that Citrix has with the capability that Cisco brings from service catalog, resource management, et cetera, so that we can deliver a simple uh, management solution across both physical and virtual resources in the cloud space. So that, in return, will bring greater app-level control, unified service fabric deployment with a common management capability in the world of many clouds that, that we see as a common vision going forward. So let me spend a little bit of time talking about our work together in integrating Citrix NetScaler with uh, Cisco's capability. So in the first phase, this plan has many phases to it. In the first phase, what this entails is Cisco reference selling the Citrix NetScaler. In other words, we would be recommending to our customers that they use Citrix NetScaler as the application development choice. And C Citrix, of course, will support the deployment of this. Cisco will continue to deploy our own ACE solution and will support customers that use ACE and want to continue using ACE. However, if there's a customer that's willing to and looking at the next generation option for the data center, we will reference, sell, or recommend Citrix solution. Going forward, we'll create a Cisco validated design, which means we will actually validate the product that Citrix has integrated into our data center for our customers to make that leap into the next generation. Going forward, in the second and third phases of our partnership, we'll be working together to actually simplify one of the things that in the data center, Cisco's vision is to create a multiple service orchestration in the data center that addresses both physical and virtual capability. So within this architecture, we'll be creating a way to integrate multiple layer four through seven services. So firewall, security services, WAN acceleration, and VAS, along with orchestration and application delivery. So that's the vision, and we'll be working together to extend this capability across other layer four through seven services. And the last area is in the, in the space of cloud networking. And so within the cloud um, networking, we're going to bring together the capabilities within orchestration and what we are doing in creating a simplified stack together. So all of this, mobile work styles, uh, orchestration, and networking, as you can see, allows our companies to deliver an easy way uh, for all of our customers to deploy public and private cloud. So I'm not the only one excited about this announcement. And we have a special guest joining via video to share with you the vision that we have going forward. So if I can have the video, please. You know, I want to thank Mark, you especially, for giving us the opportunity to partner very tightly together. And Padma, I know it was a great job on the presentation, and I wish I could have been there. Uh, I want to also say how pleased we are to join Citrix with your Synergy event and the ability to take our partnership to a different level. 
Uh, it is an exciting opportunity for us to build upon what's been a very successful partnership since 2010 on VXI. And as you've already heard, our ability to take it to the next level in terms of the mobile cloud air, where you see not just an explosion of devices, and we all know the numbers that go with it, perhaps as many as 10 billion by 2016, and the adaption of cloud across all of our joint customer sets. But even where we're headed in terms of the Internet of Everything, connecting the majority of devices around the world, and I'm talking billions and billions, with only 0.2% of it connected to get today, you're going to realize that we're just getting started. But what is key about our partnership is we see the evolution of the market very similar, and our cultures are remarkably similar. When we started planning for this event a number of months ago, uh, our first meeting between our teams, Mark, as you know, was scheduled for a couple of hours and went from 3 to 10 o'clock at night. And how we view the evolution of the industry, the importance of culture and partnerships are remarkably similar. If you look at network services and cloud, what you all have talked about around open standards and the integration, if you begin to think about enabling our joint customers for a mobile work style, where you do BYOD, bring your own device, together with Cisco Jabber, in collaboration in any to any environment, we see the remark we see the market remarkably similar. We're both going to continue to invest in resources and people to make this partnership work well. But Mark, perhaps what I value the most is we've shown our ability to get started on a partnership. We can now take it to an entirely different level. We will not let you down, and I know you will not let us down. And thanks again. Enjoy the conference. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Mark, once again for giving us this opportunity. Thank you, Padma. We're really excited to be working more, much more closely together, and thanks for the great presentation. Great. Too. And we, we look forward Thank to you. being back at next Thank Synergy. You. Thank you.